Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Thanks for joining me today. It is Dad T. A lot of people are like, Josh, you're turning into a T channel. Sometimes I am. Yeah. Let me tell you this. When I dive into T, generally we'll Venn diagram into the exploitation of children as well, right? Today we're talking about the mom talk drama. I've gotten one trillion messages about what's going on in this thing. I've been doing a little bit of research. It is a rabbit hole unlike anything you've ever seen before. It's going to include things like Mormonism, cheating, swinging, exploitation of children, and just general disgustingness is what it is. And it all centers around this one lady named Taylor Frankie Paul, who is a Mormon thirst talker. That's what I'm calling her. And it gets crazy. Let's go. Okay, so this is obviously getting my multi-part video because it's just starting, okay? And I have seen this woman on TikTok here and there. I probably have commented on one of my old accounts I got banned because I just, I, I can't stand people who are so self-centered, self-absorbed and everything else. At the same time, just pushing kids into their world of influencer. Here's an example of one of her videos, okay? This is TikTok. I hate TikTok, by the way. I just... I can, maybe I'm a boomer or whatever. Maybe I'm out of touch, but TikTok to me just is balls. Even as a creator, it's just not, there are some people who do some really great stuff on TikTok. Don't get me wrong. But for the most part, TikTok influencer culture and TikTok mom influencer culture is shit. Okay. There's no boundaries. If you call them out, you get banned. So you can exploit your kids on TikTok with no ramifications. And if someone calls you out because of it, TikTok will remove you just so you're aware. So, anyway, so it's a video like this. Oh. So, the question is, Taylor, Frankie, Paul, wearing whatever you're wearing, how tall are you? And in order to answer this question, this is what she does. Can you imagine you're trying to have a conversation with your wife and you ask her just a simple thing? Hey, did you take the garbage out? And then she does a dance and flips her hair and looks like a thirst trap. This is a woman who is completely self-absorbed. And I don't know if you've ever met a mom who is completely self-absorbed, okay? Who is full of themselves, narcissistic and everything else, has all the traits. They generally, and I, I could be wrong. My mom wasn't narcissistic or self-absorbed. She was just a different story. But have you ever met a mom like this? Okay, I have especially in church. These, these women exist and men too exist in churches a lot. Okay. But they're not good moms. Look at all the moms that I cover, um, on YouTube and Instagram and everything else. There's the self-absorbed ones. I'm not saying they don't love their children. I'm just saying that they come first always before their children, before their husbands. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm giving you that caveat because it's exactly who this woman is. And they have a, a company, a company called happy Valley, which is reversed in this video. It's so stupid. Just reverse the damn thing. It's your logo. I don't know why Valley is spelt wrong. It's pissing me off. And I'm sure someone is going to tell me it's cause it's a play on words or some shit. Okay. But they have a company. I think these three couples have a company ca called happy Valley and their logo is shit. But it doesn't matter. She's got millions and millions of subscribers. They probably make tons of money selling their shitty merch, okay? By the way, if you want good merch, head to my merch store. I got good shit. So if you just scroll through her TikTok, it's just basically, again, it's all, it's me, 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 me. And then she, it started including what's considered the, the, the mom talk cohort, right? And they were joking that Taylor, Frankie Paul, whatever hell her name is, is the grandmother of the group because she looks the oldest because she is, looks the oldest because too much sun, I think, right? You know, when you start looking like leather at some point, I mean, she's probably kind of capitalized on her looks as they are right now, which is great. I can be a real dude. This woman is highly attractive. Okay. Highly attractive. Her husband is highly attractive. These, that's why I've, I said with Mormons in Mormon culture, the Mormon women are gorgeous and it's, it's, it, and you may, and people are like, oh, you roll your eyes. But the reason that Mormon women put so much worth and value on what they look like is because it's all about the patriarchy. It's all about making their husband happy. It's nothing to do with self-worth. It's all about how do I keep my husband happy? That's Mormon culture. Okay. It's about your role as a Mormon woman is to make sure your husband doesn't cheat on you. Right. Cause if you're not giving what he wants at home, et cetera, you don't look amazing. I think Utah and the Mormon culture is the capital of uh, plastic surgery in the world. And it's so weird because Christianity that Mormon claims to be a part of that's like 
that's not really a thing. It's not, it's not in the Bible. Don't get fake lips. Don't get Botox. Don't get fake tits and all this. It doesn't say that. But at the same time, I've said this many times about Christians who, who comment on people who want to change their gender and all that kind of stuff. They have a big problem with that, but they don't have a big problem with changing your entire looks to look good for the public, right? All that to say, again, that's the where the Mormon stuff comes into play, but she started bringing in these other girls into the group, and I'm going to bring up the Reddit. I'm going to bring up the Reddit thread because there's a master Reddit thread about what it is. So all you need to know at this point is that this woman is a thirst trap and is the leader of the cohort thirst trap Mormon moms. And I want to apologize to all of you for what I did. It was very wrong and I am very sorry. I Does she own a shirt that covers her body is my question. This is another thing that really pisses me off. This kid is wearing a, a skull shaper. I don't know what you call that thing. Some kids sometimes have, when, they, when they're birthed, their heads kind of smashed because their heads aren't really connected, right? There's all these lines if you feel in your head that make it so... You know, your head's floating for all intents and purposes, kid. Somebody asked, what the F is that thing on her head? And instead of just answering a question, just being real about, you know, some people who that go through this, it's not a big deal because it's just, it's just for the head. It's a shape. It doesn't, I don't think it really means anything else except for they just want to shape their head, their kid's head perfectly. Okay. Whatever. I'd do it too if I had to. But instead of just answering a question, she does this. And I don't know why it's muted. It's muted. But she's going to do a dance. It's a helmet on his head. I, 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 I don't get the culture. Again, I, I, it bothers me because just answer the question. Why do you do a shitty dance before you answer a question? But I'm looking for the one TikTok where she brought all the moms in. First of all, none of you can dance. Stop trying. You suck. I'm not saying I'm a dancer. But you guys are terrible at this. Please stop. And they all wear black leggings and you can see all parts of their bodies. Again, I want to know why in Mormon culture, it's okay to be not modest. When if you go to a temple, you literally have to look like Chef Boyardee when you get married and everything else. Why outside of the Mormon temple can women be thirst traps? It doesn't make any sense as far as as far as the patriarchy is concerned. These women will do whatever they can to pl please their husbands, to look good for their husbands, do all that kind of stuff. And at the same time, they also can do this. Again, what I'm gonna say here too, is that I don't think there's any way that this woman is really Mormon. Because do you see any, because that what she's wearing right here, which is super weird, she's wearing a bathing suit with jogging pants. There's no garments and someone I've been reading of that she never went through the temple. So she's really not Mormon. What they're doing is they're capitalizing on the Mormon moniker because Mormons follow Mormons. They ingest Mormon content because that's how they feel good about their little world. Mormons very rarely step outside of their own culture and dive into the culture of secularism because they're told not to. They're told that's a bad thing. Mormons are very, very, very careful about what they allow into their worlds. Let's look at Ruby Frank. Got so angry at their school for playing a portion of Low by Flo Rida. She thinks that's like the worst thing that you could ever happen at a school, okay? That's what I'm talking about. They very rarely allow that culture in. And yet, at the same time, they get plastic surgery, fake eyelashes, fake lips, fake boobs, everything else. And then they do this. Okay, you're t so bad at this. Again, at her core, this is a woman who is about herself only. And so now we get to the mom talk drama, which is we're going to open up the Reddit thread because it's got everything that you need. Okay. If you've not been to mom talk gossip on Reddit, that's where I'm getting all this information. They are full of information. So here's the master post on Reddit. Again, I'm just going to give you guys the full kind of outline of where we are. And then as this thing unfolds, we're going to break it down because all of these people, most of them anyway, sorry, exploit their kids as well as do all this shit. And I'm going to, I got to bring it back. Obviously the central point is that yes, there are kids involved in this. And in the end, the only people that's really going to hurt are these children. Okay. That's what I'm going to, I'll say it now. That's kind of why I'm doing this. And at the same time, yes, it's drama. Yes, it's tea. Yes. It's interesting to a lot of people. Yes. It's going to give me more viewers, of course. Okay. But at the same time, this exists in the world that I talk about a lot. Okay. So Who's who of mom TikTok master post? Okay, so I'm gonna go down the pick start of order. So I'm gonna give you this. So pick number one is Taylor and her husband Tate. 
Taylor Frankie Paul. She is at the center of all this drama by announcing a divorce and going live to expose the soft swinging friend group and what all went down. Known for her content, joking about being a grandma, having a haunted house, having sister wives, etc. She does joke about the sister wives. Now, Taylor is the main thirst trap Mormon mom, swinger mom. Okay. She is the, again, the leader of the pack. Miranda and her husband Chase is one of the OG three of Mom Talk and alleges that she and her husband were not involved. However, she has been seen in OnlyFans photos with Taylor, and there were allegedly rumors circulating that her husband had feelings for Taylor. Now, those photos, this apparently is her. And yes, I did not put the emoji there. Miranda Mack, that's the emoji, and that's her and Taylor making out in a bathtub. So, no one believes them. And then, uh, again, another photo that was posted. This is from OnlyFans. I guess they have an OnlyFans. Again, if you're a Mormon, I'm uh, pretty sure you can't have an OnlyFans. So I don't understand why they continue to say that they're Mormon. They're not. But I'm going to, again, I don't care. You're just going to make Mormons look bad, so be it. But the issue is, is that they influence other Mormon moms and kids and teenagers because, again, Mormons only ingest Mormon content. Cool. If you want to corrupt an entire Mormon... Uh, Religion, I'm cool with that too. So, you know, don't don't interrupt their enemy when they're making mistakes. Camille and her husband. Okay, so that's Miranda and her husband. That's number two. Let's see. We show the photo. There they are. Okay. And then there's three. Camille and her husband Sam. Camille Monday. Taylor said that these two are not involved. The couple swapping because they were too much drama. Camille is another of the OJ three. OG three. So that's three, and that's Camille and them as these two. Okay. Man, they all look identical. They're so identical. It's crazy. Four is Brayden and McKenna, the man that allegedly Taylor crossed the boundary with and caught feelings for. So people are assuming this is the other couple that is getting a divorce. And that is these people who look more Mormon than Joseph Smith. It's like they are direct lineage of Joseph Smith. Okay. So it looks like her, him and Taylor got their thing on and uh, it sounds like a okay baby type of thing, right? Wanted something they couldn't have and took it. Whitney. Um, people around her, her husband had an active Tinder account. She's apparently her husband had an active Tinder account, which is so stupid. Are you stupid? She has been at the center of a lot of controversy for posting videos, dancing in the ICU while her newborn had RSV and other negative things, which is gross. I hate people like that. And they all deserve to be called out and snarked on. And that's her. Okay. Um, and then others who have appeared in videos with the mom talk group, but don't seem to have any involvement in the drama based either on their own statements or just fair assumptions. Chip, girl, burgundy, imperfect imperfect mom, Michaela, Chelsea, man. There's number seven, which I don't think exists here. It's not. So it's just a whole group of people. So that's who is at the center of this entire thing, okay? Now, what you need to know is it doesn't really matter what consenting adults really do. I, I know I talk about that a lot, and I, it sounds like I'm going to shame these people. But again, if you are consenting to doing these types of things and you want to have an open marriage and nobody's going to get hurt, Good luck with that. But if you're a consenting adult and everybody's consenting, cool. Go for it. I won't shame you for that. It is a decision that you have made. I will, however, put in the caveat that when you have children into the world, it's probably not a really good idea to, to experiment this kind of lifestyle. And a lot of people, not a lot, there will be a few people who say, my parents were uh, polyamorous and I had a great child. I, I'm sure it exists. But I think that's the exception, not the rule. I think the rule is what we're seeing here. It just falls apart. If my source is right about Kira, the rule fell apart. They were they were not the exception. They were the rule. They it all it generally falls apart. Okay, these types of lifestyles are not sustainable because feelings get involved. Now, here's a girl named Hannah Kosh who is on TikTok. Who people have been sending me her video, and this is the long version of what went down. And I'll I'll let you guys hear it, and I'll pause it like I always do. Okay, you guys wanted the long version? Well, here you go. Here's what's happening on Mom Talk. So Taylor posted a video that she was getting a divorce going, my entire life is falling apart and she's going to be a single mom. No, 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 Sam. Sam, 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 Sam. Come on. No, no, no. Come on, buddy. Come here, Sammy. Come here. You're my man. You are my man. You good boy. You good boy. If you don't think this type of woman is going to maximize now that she's a single mom and all that kind of stuff, and it sounds like the other guy might be getting divorced, it doesn't sound like she could be single for long. Again, I will reiterate, yes, this woman is highly attractive, highly famous now on TikTok, highly valued. She makes a ton of money on TikTok. So I, I wouldn't feel too sorry for her. She'll be okay. There were rumors going around that she cheated on her husband, Tate, and that's the reason why they were separating. And then Tate deleted all of his pictures with Taylor. Camille, Miranda, and some of the other moms then unfollowed her on Instagram. So 
Some of the others were also liking comments basically confirming that Taylor had cheated. The twins confirmed that they weren't friends with Taylor anymore. The twins. Those are twins? I guess there's going to be a lot that I don't know. I'm sure you guys will all tell me. And everyone was really confused what was going on. And then Taylor went live and spilled the tea. I have that live. She confirmed that she and her husband Tate were soft swingers, which means they don't go all the way. And some of the other moms and their husbands were also part of this swingers group. She said their number one rule was that if you were going to be intimate with another person's spouse, the other spouse had to be in the same room. They would all get super drunk. And then one night, Taylor and another spouse took it too far. They left and went to a private room, so that's why it was considered cheating. She said right away that Camille and her husband were not involved. And then was saying she was still friends with all of the other... Look at these women. No thanks. Like, I, I, like I'm trying... I, I'm looking at this from a perspective of like, yes, these are highly attractive women, okay? But all this serves to prove to most people is that just because you're attractive means shit, Okay. If you are self-absorbed, self-centered, and narcissistic, you are a lonely person with people who are not really your friends. You, I, like, would I like to be attractive going through life? Probably, but at the same time, as we see here, these types of worlds, they collide, and their husbands are even better looking than they are. It's really all about them, themselves, themselves. And a lot of these people have children. That's the scariest part about this. They all have children. Their stories are all on the internet now. They're all gonna be found when they're older moms except for two of them and made it seem like it was Camille and Miranda. So then everyone starts to think that it was Miranda and her husband Chase. So then Miranda and Chase go live. They were acting super weird, but they were like, we are not involved at all and Taylor's starting rumors. And But don't we have photos of them? Is that them in the bathtub? One of the comments was like, uh, you guys are kind of making it seem like you were involved. <laughs> so then apparently someone in the group leaked some inappropriate pictures of Miranda and Taylor. Which I just showed you. And then they were lying and trying to cover it up and saying it was from like a boxerette party like five years ago. So. Okay, it's on OnlyFans. Taylor goes live again and is like, Miranda and Chase were not involved. They told me it was okay if I said their names. They asked me to tell you guys that they were not involved. And then she said that allegedly two other couples in the group were getting a divorce over this whole thing. And everyone's trying to figure out who's who. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, this is the T side of everything. I get that, right? So if you go back over to the Reddit, and I know I'm going, I'm bouncing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, okay? It, really. Taylor went on a podcast, I think it was today, yesterday. Taylor went on a podcast and she talked about this whole thing that's going on. And I'm gonna break that down probably in a whole separate video. It's a 53 minute video. I gotta watch it. I'm gonna break down the parts where she's talking about the stuff. And then I gotta, I gotta obviously tag it into my message about family vlogging, terrible influencer culture, and what this does to children and what it does to the people involved, right? Because there's so many people involved that Taylor decided, Anyway, we're going to go to that in another way. But there's a video, or there's a, a post. This is an interesting post on Mom Talk Gossip. <laughs> this, is, this is great. There's, if you're looking to get into this world of this Mom Talk scandal right now, this is the page you go to. It's got everything compiled perfectly. I'm already said, I've already said in this comment, but if Taylor just posts her receipts, because we're going to look at the Taylor Live in a second. She has receipts of everything. You know she does. Someone like that, who has that many millions of followers, who has a lot to lose, keeps receipts. Okay, she claims to have, if she just keeps the receipts she claims to have, everyone denying everything should have nothing to worry about. Anyone still sucking up to Taylor is probably involved because they don't want their shit exposed. That is probably, yes. Yes, it is. Taylor's house hit the market. Holy shit, that's, a, look at that house. Oh, it's only 929,000? That house here would be two and a half million, by the way. Whoa. And should it be any surprise to anybody that Mormons do this type of thing? We're going to get into the swinging in a second. With all the like backdoor things at college and soaking and all these things that people justify in order to do what they want to do to get around the rules of their religion. It's, it shouldn't be surprised to anybody. Oh, so here it is. Here's the post. This was by the same girl who says, So Taylor and her husband became close with another couple. One night while they were all drinking, Taylor and the other husband told each other that they liked each other. So they came up with this plan to convince their spouses to swing. They convinced them to just try it out, and they did. But then Taylor's husband and the other wife said they weren't comfortable since their spouses said no, they just continued and had an affair. They had an affair for a couple months with pictures being sent to each other, telling each other that they love each other, meeting up in parking lots. The spouses found out and decided they would both get divorces. As soon as the information started to leak, Taylor freaked out and came up with a story to make herself not look as bad. That's why she started posting TikToks about the divorce and went live to try to take over the narrative. She included all the mom talk stuff and tried to seem like it wasn't just her, but it was really just her. And I, I again, this is all alleged, but I tend to agree with this. It sounds like these, and again, because we just covered the Kira and uh, Preston shit, right? Kira did this before and then did it again, allegedly, right? 
And so what's happening is whoever posted that, that makes a lot of sense to me. Okay. So it sounds like they're all together. They're all making TikToks. They're all kind of, you know, about themselves and they start getting famous. They probably start getting tons of DMS. The husbands probably start getting tons of DMS from females all over the world too. They become into this world where they're not happy anymore because Oh, they got millions of dollars. Oh, they have the perfect house. They have the perfect kids, perfect husband. It's never good enough for a narcissist like these people that exist in this world. Now, her husband agreed, but if, if this is true and Taylor and the other husband convinced them to do all this stuff after getting drunk, then that's really sketchy and disgusting because they were just looking for a way to do what they wanted to do without losing all the things that they had. Now, is Taylor going to suffer because of this? No. <laughs> she might not get any sponsors or anything, but her TikTok is exploding right now. Right? In the end, everybody likes this drum and tea because it's drum and tea and they want to get involved. But in the end, Taylor will come out on the other side now as a single struggling mom who making TikToks, dancing. What's it like to be a single struggling mom? And then she'll do 15 dances and be like, it's okay because I make a million dollars a day. Right? It doesn't matter to her. They're not really going to suffer. Again, in the end, who's going to suffer? It's the children of all of these influencers are part of this circle now. Taylor is going to lose every friend she ever had and deserves to. And she's only going to keep those loyal to her that she can because of the proof and evidence receipts that she has. So I want to get to Taylor's thing here. So I obviously just found this on YouTube. It's a, it's, it's a long one. Sorry. Again, this one's going to be multiple parts. But I want to break down this video because she talks about swinging and everything else, soft swinging and all that. We're going to break that down from a perspective of adults, Mormons, Christians, influencer culture, and everything else. Because it's actually, if what we just read is true, look at it from the, that lens. Um, so back to being in an open relationship, Tate and I kind of opened those doors and we had people in and vice versa. So I want to stop her there. She says, Tate and I opened those doors. And so if you believe what we just read... Yes. So she asked Tate and Tate said, yes, let's try this. And then it sounds like Tate and this other wife took away the consent to that agreement. Right. And remember what I said in, last, in a couple of videos ago, consent is ongoing and should always be asked for and should be always like, yep, this is consensual, consensual. It should never just be once it's consented, it's over. And so it looks like they took their consent and then they just continued the relationship. So she's projecting that it's her and Tate. But in the end, we know it's likely just her. This is again, she is the mob boss of mom talks. To make it clear, um, again, I'm speaking in gray. He never like fully went like. I don't know what you would call it if it's like soft swinging, but you don't like fully switch, if that makes sense, and go all the way. And to be honest, I did, we had an agreement, okay. like all of us, and I did step out of that agreement. Okay, so let's shorten what she just said there. Taylor cheated on her husband, the end. Doesn't matter about the swinging, doesn't matter about the soft swinging, doesn't matter about agreements, because, well, it doesn't matter if agreements, because that's consent, right? They've consented to this one, they've consented to these parameters of this thing that they're doing okay which again is silly if you are friends with people don't sleep with each other i it again it's not the exception it's the rule right the rule is generally it's going to fall apart and it did here in this case right so she's saying i stepped outside of the of the marriage outside of the consensual agreement that we had so taylor just shorten it say i cheated on my husband um okay, okay. And that's where I messed up, and I obviously am losing everything that I have, so that is... You're not losing shit. True. Uh, what you're losing is a dedicated marriage, which probably wasn't very dedicated anyway, because Mormons are weird like this. They get married really young, and then again, nothing's enough. Then they become famous for whatever reason, and that's not enough. You're not losing anything, Taylor. And also, you made your bed, you lie in it. What you're going to do is sell your $950,000 house, split the profit. You have a TikTok that makes tons of money. I hope this, this dad... Your husband, Taylor, or whatever his name is, or I hope the dad goes for full custody, 100% full custody, and then steps away from the limelight, steps away from TikTok and Instagram and everything else, and says, you're not putting my kids. If you want to go be a thirst trap, OnlyFans, Mormon mom, go for it. Cool. But my kids are no longer going to be on the internet for their friends to be able to find that one day. Wouldn't it be amazing that if you want to do this lifestyle, great. But wouldn't it be amazing if nobody knew who your kids were, right? If you go to high school. I mean, they might still find it. You never know, but you could change names and everything else is what I'm saying. Hopefully she, she, maybe she goes back to her other name and then you might have some semblance of normalcy for your children. If she wants to continue to be an OnlyFans, TikTok, thirst trap, porn star, whatever she wants to do. Cool. But I'm hoping this dad is listening. Okay. Get your kids, get custody of your children. She makes millions of dollars. 
She's going to have to owe you child support. That's how this really works. The world is changing. Make sure you get a lawyer. Don't don't be Oscar here. Make sure you get a lawyer. And it sounds like they already did. Um, but I don't like no one was innocent. Everyone has hooked up with like everyone in this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, but the innocence here. Now you're saying what she's doing is projecting that nobody's innocent, except no. If you guys all stayed within the parameters of your agreement, of your consented upon agreement, there would have been nobody that was guilty. You all chose this as consenting adults. There would be no issue with it. So only person that messed up here is you and the other dude who nobody knows yet who it is. So sorry, you can't just say that now because morally you're standing on that we can soft swing and nobody should have a problem with that if they're consenting, right? Situation. So like, yes, I'm getting shunned for doing that, but it wasn't like I was like going around like hooking up with my friend's like husband. It was Except that's exactly what you did. It was like... We were at a party, I got belligerent, and we went and messed up like by ourselves, rather with the whole group, if that makes sense. They are doing this in group, they, so they are in Mormon orgies, is what they were doing. Mormon orgies. You guys are all going to be TK smoothies, and you deserve it. Enjoy your Mormon, I was going to say smoothies. <laughs> Enjoy your Mormon orgies while being smooth down there. You're not going to be able to. Um, one time, it was a one-time thing because we were so, like, gone. Nope, you cannot blame being drunk on cheating on your spouse. That's not going to work ever. <laughs> Raise your hand here if your spouse came home and said, I was drunk and cheated on you. So it's not really my fault. Nope, you can't say that. You're not allowed to. That is projecting blame on something else. You made the choice. Also, Mormons aren't supposed to be drinking. So I'm, again, going to say this. So I don't think she's a true Mormon. I think they just say it to capitalize on the fame that they'll get from the millions of Mormons that will follow them. Okay? They're not really Mormons. So Mormon church should come out and say, nope, they're like... They're excommunicated. And that's when it like blew up. And yes, we were like friends. I was friends with these people and we spent a lot of time together. We were intimate on several occasions. Um, it sucks that I have to admit this because it's not probably like the, no one really wants to admit that they're involved in something like that. You don't have to admit shit. All you have to do is take down all, imagine this for a second. This drama does not exist. I mean, not on the level that exists right now, the T, whatever you want to call it. If Taylor just went to everybody and said, guys, I'm shutting down my social media. Oh, you guys can hate me and call me out on the internet all you want, but I'm shutting it all down because I did something wrong. My kids are going to suffer. My marriage is over. I'm losing my home. I'm losing everything I built, everything else, because I made this choice. So I'm going to be a human being, apologize to you, my husband, and everybody else I messed up with and then I'm going to remove myself off the internet, this shit wouldn't exist. Taylor can't help it. This is not a mistake here. This isn't like, ah, oh, I wish I didn't have to do this. Because Taylor, let, hear me, you got, you got your ear. So Taylor, you got your listening ears on here? You didn't have to tell anybody anything. You just had to leave. But because I'm like the only one getting dragged through this, and then our friend falling out, there was also like sneakiness going on with that. So, so she's alluding to someone else was cheating with someone else. Um, it wasn't just me and this other person that had like feelings for each other and messed up. There were other things. Other people had feelings and, um, no, just talk about you. I'm, and again, she's right though. Uh, I know she's, she's projecting and everything. She's telling everybody else's tea. I get that. But again, here is the reason why you probably shouldn't do this. Maybe Taylor should come and say, guys, look, we thought as consenting adults, we could do this, you know, that it, it, it would be healthy and everything else. Maybe with your huge platform here, just tell people, Hey guys. Don't do this. It's bad. It will lead likely to divorce. It will lead to jealousy. It will lead to rage. It will lead to you losing everything. <laughs> I just don't understand it. It's just sex. Like, do you, you have a spouse. Ask for different things then. Like, try things. Buy equipment. I don't know. Go over to Kira's house. She got a whole drawer full of shit. I'm just saying, it's all it's again narcissistic, selfish, selfish behavior is always me, me, me. How can I get what I want? What is one, what is the difference between one wiener and another wiener? They're all Mormon wieners. Like I know I mean I know I'm breaking it down to a degree, and a lot of it's the danger of it. A lot of it's just they're not happy. And they're again, it's all selfishness. They want what they can't have because they have everything they want. Does that make sense? Like they have so much in an abundance of that thing that the one thing that they can't have, they really want because they're like, I'm entitled to that because look at me. That's why Jeffrey Epstein existed, everybody. It's hard because I can't like, I can't spill like everything without tearing everyone down or like coming out with all of it. Um, 
um no one's innocent in the situation e no you can't say that no i'd say that you know why because you guys were consenting adults to the sex more to the mormon sex parties okay that's you're innocent if you guys have all agreed to that nobody's guilty there unless you're looking at it from a lens of the you know mormon book of Book of Mormon and shit like that, then yeah, you're sort of guilty. But nobody's guilty if you guys have all consented to the thing. There's no, there should be no guilt to be had. You have all made this choice. Awesome. That's that's a great example of consent. So no, you and this other dude are guilty. Um, I guess, and I'm trying to. <laughs> Pendo says, looks like you don't feel bad. I agree with you. She's coming across again. This is Taylor living in a world where she knows this shit's blowing up, and she knows it is. And she made a TikTok saying, whenever I Google my name on Reddit, she... Don't get it twisted, everybody. Taylor loves what's going on right now. She is not angry. She wanted to blow up her marriage. That's basically what was going to happen anyway. In the end, it was going to happen. Taylor loves this. She's not feeling guilty at all. She's a narcissistic, crazy person. I don't know if we're frozen or we're good. You're good. Your face is frozen with all the other things you put in it, but other than that, the video is good. Okay. Um, Does she have a shirt that fits? Just saying. There's not one video I've not seen most of this girl's body. Just saying. If you're going to do an apology video, just like, you know, where's the white? Make your bed at least. Put some glasses on. I don't know. Did you not see Micah's apology? I guess, yeah. So, I get the... I guess people are just trying to say they like had nothing to do with the situation, and they did. Uh, so she's calling out all the other mom talkers in this giant cohort of Mormon sex party saying that they're all trying to say it's not me it's not me it's not me because they're starting to realize this shit's coming back to bite me in the ass and I don't make a million dollars a year on TikTok or 10 million I don't do any I, don't, I hardly have anything worth putting this out I hope most of them shut down their shit and take their kids off because we're going to go through all of them we're going to look at all of their profiles okay she's saying they're all involved basically I mean, could you imagine the smell? <laughs> they were a part of it, and other people, I guess, I can't say the name, but the other, there was other parties of it that, like, said that they had feelings, and then it was a big blow-up, so then I got dropped because we weren't honest about, like, people having feelings, if that makes sense. No, you, why don't you just say what you need to say? Okay, why do we have to read between the damn lines? It sounds like the other guy was like, I would rather keep my marriage with my wife. Likely because I can see right through your bullshit, right? He probably just wanted to have some fun with the with the with the leader of the pack, right? And sounds like not gonna be that fun anyway. Just saying. Sounds like the other woman he wanted to keep his relationship. He's probably trying to make that work, and that's gonna end in divorce too, right? Look how many families have been ruined and are likely going to be continued to be ruined because this one girl here at the center of all this decided she wanted Strange D. Okay, that's it. In the end. They all wanted Strange D and all wanted to do things with each other's husband. But if you believe what the other person said, the inside source, it was Taylor and this guy who wanted to get together. So they had this idea and they said, let's convince people to, I was going to say soak, but to cheat, to, to have sex parties so that they could do what they want to do together. And in the end, that wasn't even enough for them because they split off into a private room and did the thing, right? Ew. Again, the smell. You have like Febreze and shit after? Um... But Who didn't have a shower? Terry, did you have a shower, dude? I told you, when you play pickleball, you have a shower before you come to these Mormon sex parties. No, it's you. Dude, I I can smell it because it smells like onions. No, it's you. I know it is. He's not invited to the next Mormon sex party. <laughs> Regardless, Tay and I are getting divorced. Um, we played with fire and we got burned. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, yes, she's true. But he, again, we play with fire and you, you, you lit the shit on fire afterwards. And, um, that's what happens. Well, someone just said, I waste a lot of time being jealous of your big friend group. Again, everybody, this is another reason I cover this shit. I know it's tea and drama and everything. It's interesting, but that's it. That woman just admitted, I waste a lot of time being jealous of your life because I watch you and I want what you have because it looks amazing. But in the end, everything was lit on fire and fell apart. So stop idolizing influencers. They don't deserve it. They're fake. Where's, where's your top from? Because that's a real important question. There are... I'll tell you where it's from. Walmart. Three divorces in our friend group right now going on. 
Um, one, not really to do with the situation. There's two of us that are getting. So why did you say it? None of your damn business to tell the world that. Divorce, two families. Um, but yeah. And then there's like. Why be married if you're going to have an open relationship? Doesn't make sense. Again, some people can make it work, but it is the exception, not the rule. The rule is it won't work. I think if you took a hundred thousand polyamorous couples who decided to do this inside of a friend group, swingers, whatever you want to call them, guaranteed most of them will fall apart because that's that's based on selfishness. Just. And we are not my, I guess Tate and I doesn't want to be friends with any of the group. Um, there's rumors that Tate is like on their side and with them and that's totally false. Um, yeah, I Tate's running away from everybody, including this one here. I have to bring Tate on here to say that I will because he doesn't want to be friends with any of them. He thinks none of them are true friends. Um, there think? were a lot of sneakiness going on. With you, what? With um, you! With our entire friend group and he knows that and he, when people are saying Tate is like with this side, he doesn't, he's not a fan of any of them. Or you, Tate is on an island. And Tate, please hope you're listening to this. One dad to another. Run away from all of that lifestyle. Look what it's led you to. Like, yeah, maybe you had some fun with a with some strange V <laughs> and all that kind of stuff, but look where it's led you. And now your kids are gonna suffer. Tate, please, 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 for the love of God, listen. One dad to another. Run away from this life. It is not for anybody. It's definitely not for children. I feel like we had a lot of other issues. You think? Look at you. And then this was like the tip of the iceberg. Um... Also, inside of Mormon churches, I don't know. I, again, I don't know a lot about Tate. I checked out his Instagram. He has like 5,000 followers. She has millions and millions. This guy is like a very, very small percentage. But Tate, if you look at Tate and you see some of the videos they've done on TikTok and stuff like that, Tate, I don't think Tate enjoyed this world at all anyway. I don't think Tate is Tate is telling you who Tate really is either. I guess soft swinging is when you like do other things, but you don't go all the way. Okay. So it's, again, this is the word this, I think soft swinging is something you're going to see within a Mormon culture. We look at soaking, we look at bum stuff and all those kind of things, especially in Christian world too, where they try to justify doing the things they want to do without breaking the rules of the religion. I said this at the beginning of the video. Okay. And so soft swinging is just another example of Mormons trying to not feel guilty about breaking the rules of their religion. Okay. So soft swinging is generally probably they're going to be in a room together, likely doubling up, meaning that they're going to be doing it with each other, but they're watching each other. Okay. Or they can join in, but not join in. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know. I've never been a swinger. Soft swinging just sounds like you don't finish or you don't go off alone. You always have to be in a room with each other doing everything or watching, which is just swinging. Okay. So the one rule that they have is you can't go off and do it with someone else because that breaks the rule. And as much as it's stupid, yes, I agree with you. It was still the rule. And that's the rule that she broke. She went off with what's his face, probably into the, you know, they probably have a dog spa downstairs because they're like that and did their thing because they couldn't help each other. They couldn't help it. Is And probably because Terry didn't have a shower. He's like, I can't be in this room. Terry, next time you play pickleball, buddy, just at least throw some deodorant on. What I've been told, that's what happened with us. Um, yeah. But yeah, to be honest, like none of them were our real friends. You can see when something like this happens, they all kind of go hide and your true friends really come out like... You know true friends because your shit's built on a TikTok platform as an influencer. Again, this is really revealing. Thank you for saying it, Taylor. People in this world cannot have real friends. Do you know why? It's because they are about themselves. I mean, you look at Tara Henderson and Aaron Williams. That drama has been going on for a couple, for a couple months now. That's a huge falling out. People have to look at uh, Jess and Janelle. They were her best friend. You can't have real friends. People who are in the center of these places, you know why you can't have best friends? Because you're selfish. You are selfish. And all you think about is yourself and how you can get yourself ahead of everybody else. That's why it doesn't work. That's why these people don't have friends. She's going to die a lonely old lady. That's what's going to happen. A crusty, lonely old lady with leather skin. Wear sunscreen, Taylor. Tons of family and friends that know the story are super supportive. Um... I am actually friends with most of the mom talk group. There's only like two of them that I'm not friends with. Um, you yeah, know, you just said two seconds ago you're not friends with anybody. You probably know the two that are out there. 
you know, um, I won't say their names, but I'm friends with the majority of Mom Talk. Mom Talk's actually been, a lot of them from Mom Talk have been texting me. And that's where we go back to that, that post on Reddit. Those friends that are still friends with you, Taylor, they're still friends with you because of the receipts that you have. They don't want to piss you off because they don't want you to come out. Because again, the only person benefiting from all this drama, really, truly, is Taylor. She's at the center of it, but she's the only one going to benefit monetarily off of this. Okay? So those friends that are sucking up to her, kissing her ass, I believe this other person that says it's because she's got shit on them. They want to be forgotten in all this. And she and they're just keep your enemies closer is what they're doing. That's all it is. And Taylor, if you don't see that, I'm sorry, you're dumb. And saying that they're like, they've just been really supportive. Um, so I'm in contact with most of them. Mm -hmm. uh, That's because your whole world fell apart, Taylor. And when you, at the center, anybody ever had this situation in their life where you feel like everybody's against you for whatever reason? I mean, I'm trying to think of a moment this ever happened, like in youth group or something. I don't know. Maybe I did something wrong. But it, it sounds like when you have, when everything has fallen apart for you, you reach out to those and you grasp onto those who you think you have friendships with because you have nothing else. It's human nature to want to have those people to know that someone's on your side. Right. I know that people have reached out to me when they've had shit go on on YouTube specifically and I have been on their side. I'm like, hey, you know, you should just ignore that shit. Don't worry about it because they're looking for a friend, someone to say something. And I tend to be a loyal dude and I would have done that for them. They don't often reciprocate, let's be real, but that's who I am. And so when you are when you are, have so many people against you and so, someone comes and is on your side for something, you will grasp onto that. Even though, again, what I believe is she's got dirt on everybody and they're just trying to keep her close. Yeah, so they've been really, really good and supportive. The reason that I got on social media, which I did want to talk about, it wasn't actually on social media till a story was told. And the story was told to the wrong people that went and like confirmed things on social media. So it wasn't ever from my mouth. I would have only posted about the divorce, to be honest. But because it's gotten out there and there's two sides to the story and that we... Bur we well, apparently in this one, there's like 40 sides to the story. So, okay, Taylor. Basically, we're like all open with each other. Um, that was never going to come out because nobody wants to admit that. So I just have to come on here and at least say that. Um... Everyone was pretty much intimate with everyone. <laughs> <laughs> we know that. Stop saying that, Taylor. We know that, but that was an agreed upon arrangement. All of you agreed to that. So stop saying that. Everybody was intimate with each other because you agreed on it. Fine. But that's not the reason for the fallout. The reason for the fallout is because you and what's his face probably went up to the attic. Okay? Insulation is dangerous. You don't breathe that shit in. Okay, you went off and did your own thing outside of the arrangement. Why does she keep Deflect. Well, I know why she keeps deflecting it, but she's deflecting it. It sucks, but they're gonna deny it, and that's fine. I just is it fine? I'm speaking my truth. Sounds fine. And they can speak theirs, I guess. It was like, why not therapy? Because strange D is therapy to some people, I guess. Um. <laughs> Do, uh, someone just said a comment. Don't you feel bad the kids are involved? I hope she answers that question. <laughs> There's so many questions. Okay, recap. Okay, I'll do a recap because I have limited time. But um, do you? It sounds like you have <laughs> limited time. Like, what? Do you have a job to get to? No. What do you mean limited time? There's still like 40 minutes left in this thing. Okay. And we were we did this on occasion. We would have parties, and everyone by the end of the night would go. We go up, you know, and do all that. It happened several times. I hope everybody's getting DNA tests real quick. That's what I'm saying. It's like. Cabins, parties, all of it. And then, Cabins. Um, Where are all of your children during all this stuff? Sorry. Not with kids in the house. Please don't. And then... What if your kids came in and saw that? One night. So, the, I obviously, like, I already admitted that I stepped out of the agreement. There was an agreement. And I stepped out. Um, okay! Leave it alone! On it, but for one night... But what? Like, we all got belligerent, and me and someone else went and did it, I guess. See, again, she's blaming the alcohol. Without everyone that we normally would have. And so, yeah. I have already taken blame for that. I'm sorry, I've literally lost everything because of that. So I am wanting to move on from that. Um, but I just wanted to be aware that everyone... I hope that she, what she's saying here, she lost everything. And I, I say I hope, but I hope that that's the husband's like, I'm taking custody. You know, my kids are with me. 
I don't want them with someone like you. I hope that's what she means when she leaves there. Because honestly, what what needs to happen is she needs to maybe he's helping. She needs to reflect on the thing that's made her lo lose everything. And it's really not just about the sex. It's really not about the cheating. It's really about this lifestyle that she's led, about wanting to to stop at nothing to be famous. She 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 needs this attention so badly. It's what she feeds off of, and it's also been her kryptonite. So Taylor, you really did care about your family, especially your kids. Get your shit off the internet. We'll be fine without you. We'll be good. Nobody needs what you have because what did you bring to the table? Nothing. None of what these people bring us is of value. Nothing. That I even the opportunity she had to talk about the the sh the skull the helmet that her kids wears. Instead of just answering why because it could have been an educational moment, she did a shitty dance. That's what she did. Into that person, but that person was, has also been intimate with my husband. So like. Yes, they didn't like cross any lines, but the fact that- That's all you had to say. I didn't just go hook up with someone's husband, right? Yes, you did! Yes, you did! Like we were all doing this on the weekends and I, um- She, she said she che cheated, then she's annoyed and yes, she did. Yes, she did. And then again, the other comment likely sounds right that the husband, your husband, Tate and this other woman, Camille or Moran, whatever the hell her name is, they didn't like this situation. They're like, okay, we I feel like we're being taken advantage of here. They probably came to the fact the conclusion that they just wanted to do this because they hooked up, obviously, outside of the parameters of the agreement. And they were like, We've just been we've been had. That's what happened. We got belligerent and stepped out. So yeah. I know that I was in the wrong for that. The agreement was we could do anything as long like if as long as we were in front of each other and we were like on the same page, it was fine. But the second, like, you go separately, that's not okay. So why'd you go separately? Like, I'm trying to get to the, okay, here's, like, I'll get into a little bit of the nitty-gritty detail of this. You wanted that guy. Clearly you did. So you were allowed to do what you wanted with that guy in the same room, as long as your spouse and his spouse was there. So what was the point of leaving when you could have gotten what you wanted anyway? I don't understand that. Because they were, I don't know. That's, again, that's the ickiness of this whole thing. Because they went off to do something that they did things. And so I broke that rule. Um, and all, everybody's like, oh, good for you for owning up your mistakes. Queen, yes, queen, you owned up. So everything's good. You owned up. But I honestly believe that she's only coming out to tell her story because she needs. To, she's trying to get ahead of it, right? And she's trying to tell the other people, I know shit. I'm going to drop shit. You're on my side. Um, and then there's a friend blow up that happened all in the same night. And so... <laughs> Yes, it did in a bunch of ways. Again, Terry. Don't invite Terry anymore. That guy's gross. A lot of too much hair too. Secrets came out during that blow up, and um, there were other people that had feelings. So it sounded like that big giant fight during their orgy. Okay, and again, if there are children involved in this house, living in that home, I, I honestly, I'm going to say that I think when they have their sex, their Mormon sex parties, their kids are likely, hopefully at grandma's, there's no kids in the home. I want to say that, please, please tell me that that's how that went down. As well, actual feelings, and that's what you get when you play with fire and you're intimate with couples and you're with them all the time, those feelings are naturally bound to happen. So, the next phrase out of your mouth should be, so don't do it. If you value your marriage and you want to stay in, in, in a marriage that works, that's, that, don't do what we did. That's what should come out of your mouth next. Don't do it. And I, I had that issue and so did this person, so did another person. And they're going to deny that and that's okay. None of these people have been our true friends. Um, my husband wants nothing to do with the entire group. Including you. So don't forget saying that. Because he's literally divorcing you. Um, if we're going to... Camille and... Sam, the Mondays have nothing to do with this, by the way. They're the ones that are out. Like, they have no nothing to do with this. Except they were in the sex party, so they were, they had a little to do with it. Um, I'm not speaking of them. I'm not saying names, but because everyone's saying that Camille's like, it has nothing to do with her. She was actually the group. Someone's like, with a bunch of these, maybe y'all can work this out. <laughs> decided that, um her and her husband were not a good fit for our group because they brought a lot of drama in so they were kind of like distanced from everyone she's spilling some tea and yeah a long while back so this was far back so they had nothing to do with the situation someone just asked if her husband was bi again i think a lot of these mormon males in this group 
likely are bi or gay because they are not allowed to be gay inside the Mormon church. They would be excommunicated. They cannot be gay inside the Mormon church. A lot of these men, a lot of, a lot of these men look and act like they could possibly be gay, which is fine. That's nothing wrong with that in the world we live in now. But the reason that they do this, they go into these marriages is because, I mean, if you took a sample size of a bunch of ex-Mormons who are now gay, who come out as gay, a lot of them were married because they, they had to. That's that's how they stay in the religion because they are indoctrinated into the religion. They are outcasts if they come out with that. So just saying, yeah, maybe some of the agreement in the sex parties was because they wanted to do things. You know what I'm saying? Never the guys hooked up. Oh, again, that's the Mormon culture thing too. Um, only the girls. And then the girls would, we would make out with each other's husbands. So make out means they would have sex with each other's husbands and with each other. And the guys were like, no, don't touch these. No sword fights here. When I say that I have proof of things, that means I have text messages about all of this happening. I have everything. I have proof of it. So like, I'm not worried that like, like if anything ever like blew up bad, like I have it all. This is what she's telling everybody. Just so you guys are aware, I got shit. So don't come out against me because you're going to fall. You'll crash. Taylor's the only one that could come out on top of this because she's the biggest one of them all. She's the biggest thirst trap. She started it all. She's the, she's the head honcho, the mob boss of the TikTok moms. Okay. That's who she is. The other ones stand to benefit nothing. All they, all of them, if they really wanted to drop bombs, they would just leave social media and then drop their bombs. Because at that point, who gives a shit? You're not online anymore. But they're so narcissistic and selfish that that's more important to them than the truth. Um, messages, videos, group messages, confirming all that this like happened. Probably videos too. And yeah, but I do apologize for stepping out of that agreement for that one night. Nope, don't apologize to people. Apologize to your husband. Um, I was. And it probably wasn't one night. Friends with this person as well. Like there was, we were, it was like a friendship that was built first. And then obviously we were all intimate together with the, like all of us. Mm -hmm. And so my feelings did, I did catch feelings. Like that's obviously not a, like a lie. Um. So is she going to end up with this other dude probably? We definitely drank through all of this. We were intoxicated a lot of the time. Doesn't matter. Um, I've never. Why is nobody asking about? Hey, how does this fit in with your Mormon religion? Or deny I don't see one question. I'm not drinking. Just so that's out there. Everyone was intoxicated during these times. So she's asking if she's mm -hmm. bi. That sounds like yes. And you can't be bisexual if you're Mormon. And not Mormon. That's what I'm saying. I'm to blame, but I think there was like. You guys are like seeing a pebble of what's going on. There's like a whole bunch of sand behind and I, I can't even give the full details of everything. Obviously I won't. There's names. You just said you had receipts and everything. There's more details. There's nasty details and I can't, I'm Stinky details. not going to give that. Terry. Um, but there's more to the story than me just like going to hook up with one of my neighbors. Like how did you get caught? We admitted it. We just admitted what we did. No, cause they asked you. You don't just come out and be like, oh, we're admitting it. No, no, no. You got caught. Uh, yes, we were like friends and we were always together. All of our families were like our families were together a ton. How do you just hang out with each other like at a barbecue when you're not having a Mormon sex party and just be like, is that not weird that you've seen each other's parts all the time? Like you just, isn't that weird? Ugh. Think of the kids. We were friends, majority of it. And then it was just a one, like, I guess the night we really messed up. It was a one night thing <laughs> does she sound like <laughs> is this a thing what's next my hair is my hair good look at I, I, a body language expert should watch this video she doesn't give a shit dudes she could care less all she's coming out here to do is try to get so she's like here's my side but she doesn't give a shit she cares not at all about anything all she cares about is her with the image coming across about her. I'm just going to keep a lot of it to myself. And if everyone wants to hate me, that's fine. I will take it. Mm, sure. But if they hate me too much publicly, I have receipts. Someone just said, leave the kids out. You know what? Nope. You don't get to do it. And I agree that you should, but you don't get to. You brought your kids into this world that you've created. Your kids are going to suffer. So yeah, leave the kids out as in don't talk about them like it ever. But in the end, you're going to have to face. You're going to imagine having to tell your kids this later because they're going to find this shit. I can't even imagine as a parent having to like tell my kid later about all the shitty things I did. That's crazy. I already told you that people are going to come out and deny it and that's fine. Um, 
no one's going to come and admit all of this. Like, I think I'm the only one that will probably stand here and admit it. That's because you're the only one who stands to benefit. And say that I was involved. But obviously this was not a man, a one man job. This wasn't two man. This was a group of people. Um, the friend falling out was a group of people and reasons why, um, they're not going to come out and admit that. And that's okay. I don't wake up. This was a good wake up call. I think for us and our entire friend group. Yeah. It's throw your whole marriage away for a wake up call. Got it. Cool. Go find yourself to get our lives in check and to wake up. Okay. What? For the sake of this, you have to give the other side. So this is the other people that think that we have photos of them making out in bathtubs at parties. So even if they say that this was done at a bachelorette party like five years ago, these photos that we have, they were still making out in a bathtub and having sex. So it sounds like this was going on and on and on. And it's not outside the realm of possibility that they would agree to doing this. Because if they're, if they're having sex at bachelorette parties with each other, okay. So I wanted to give this because this is another person who's just, she's at the center of it, part of the OG3. They have the business together, which is likely gone now because they spelled Valley wrong anyway. You know, has been like trying to stand up for... Me and Sam were always really good buddies too. We I don't know who Sam is. We'd go to the gym together. Yeah. Um, so me and him had a great relationship and obviously have a great relationship with Tate, but yeah, that's just, that's completely unrelated. Um... Okay, so, yeah, so why did you say it? it's unrelated? Yes, that's true. And um, it's crazy, too, because, like, I haven't addressed any of this. I had no plan in addressing it. It's also not my story to tell. Um, that's why I haven't brought it up. And so that's what sucks. It's cause I, I wasn't going to address it, but here I am addressing it. Why do they always say this? I really did not want to have to. Um, I really did not want to have to bring this up. I didn't want to, like, have to talk about anything because, like I said, it's not. Oh, the Volca Fry. <laughs> <laughs> that's not my business i just wanted families to heal and to have once you hear a vocal fry and you've been it's been pointed out to you you cannot unhear it and it will grate your soul the time and don't want to have to address anything and anyway but it just come to my attention that <laughs> dates at the door obviously things are circling and are you guys doing a live <laughs> um on apparently like on her life she alluded to me and chase being involved and you are involved what she means by that and i even have you know obviously i have my wrestling like i said i don't want to have to like prove anything or like I've really and yet here on the live i hate that i even have to do this it's so annoying because i didn't want to have to address anything at all that's another thing i did see a comment just now that said three divorces are happening yes um Another couple in our friend group are getting divorced for completely un... Again, why is this your business? ...related, um, hey, babe. for completely unrelated reasons. And I know that they're also kind of hurt by this because they hadn't come out about their divorce yet. She She's literally saying in this chat live that she wasn't a part of this Mormon sex group. Except, yes, you were. Um, Liars. Why don't you just tell the truth and be like, we didn't, but we didn't step outside of our boundaries. We we are consenting adults. We decided we wanted to have fun doing this kind of thing. We were we didn't cheat on each other. We're good. Just who cares? What's the big deal? And now that's another thing. Like, is it because some are more Mormon than others? It's out there that really sucks. And no, Camille and Sam are not getting a divorce. Camille and Sam are great. They're not involved in any way. Never have been. Camille's just been trying to be there for those involved and. Um, just try and be a good friend to people. But um, that's another thing. Like someone was saying that, Take care of your children. You're going on a live to deny being part of a Mormon sex party. You got kids just listening. Not related at all whatsoever. Yeah, I don't even know why that was brought up. That's, that's what, exactly. So shut your pie holes about it. That's what I was just saying. That's as hard as that. Like they hadn't come out to people yeah, about their divorce keep yet. It private. Um, so that was keep it private. <laughs> private so that's kind of hard for them okay. because now that's another thing that's out there and people so they're being pissed at taylor for saying about the divorce like speculate well who's the divorce about and no it's not about me and chase it's not about sam and camille um but i just wanted to make it very clear that um and like i said i don't want to feel like i have to post anything or do anything like but here i am taylor and I have been what is this guy doing is he sifting through corn adding like on our on messages and um and I, you know, told her, you know, like, why did you make it seem that we're, we're involved? We were involved in this. We had nothing to do with the divorce. We never soft, swap, soft swapped with anybody. Soft swapped. 
She's saying that, and Taylor is saying, I have receipts. So if Miranda, what's her face, is coming on here and saying we didn't, but Taylor drops receipts that they did, why lie? Again, I don't understand the lie. Why are you lying about it? If you are consenting adults, it doesn't matter. You live in a world that's very, very woke to this type of stuff. It's all good, don't slut shame, do what you gotta do if you're consenting. Why are they lying about it? Someone that I, somebody else that I knew like was involved or something, and then I just took that side. And that's not that's exactly what happened. That's not the case. Uh, yes, then tell the truth. What's the case? Stop saying somebody said is this, but that's not it. So what is it? You guys literally made millions of dollars. Sh again, I, everybody hates Taylor, and you should, because Taylor is obviously the one who did all the wrong as far as stepping outside the agreements. But I mean, tell the truth then. Um, as as hard as that is, that's not like all that it was. I all that it was, meaning it was part of it. Um, she made accusations saying that, you know, Chase had feelings for her and um, and then said that that wasn't true and that that never happened. And she had told, you know, Camille, she had told, you know, all these other people and Camille was the one that told me that she was saying that. Um, so then that's how it became this whole big thing. These are parents. Thing and, um, Ugh. Though that is not true, um, that that's her. Oh my thing. God! She has not said one phrase yet. She would say that, and if it were to be true, it's hurtful. It was hurtful to me that she would tell anybody. Um, you would be a shitty lawyer. That she was telling everybody except for me. How, what? Like I said, hypothetically. How what? That would that would be very hurtful to me that she was telling you know everyone that she felt like like oh Chase has feelings for me you know I've how are these people famous how tell me just because you're good looking is that literally all it takes to make it to make million is that all you have to offer the world because you literally suck at everything else you can see it whatever and like do you are you good at Jenga can you are you good at bocce ball anything table tennis what. What else do these people bring to the world? You know, our people in our friend group are like, you know, we don't see it. Like, I. Anyway, so. You gotta let me come talk for a second. Yeah, yeah, so let the dude, because this chick has not said one word yet that makes sense. Way, um, He's like, babe, you suck balls at this. I love you. But let me clear it up. You made it worse. I know. I know she didn't talk about that, but that's what I'm saying is like, I just want you guys to know that, like, the fallout was with me and Taylor. A lot of people think that that just had to do with her and another person in the group, but that's just simply not the case. No, what it sounds like is everybody secretly hated Taylor anyway, because Taylor sounds like a big giant B, right? That's what it sounds like. She ran the show, you do what she wants to, come do TikTok on my house right now, blah, blah, blah. It's probably the standard go, like, very abrasive personality, me, 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 at the center of everything. It sounds like y'all hate her but you were also making a big shit ton of money in your own social medias because of her. That's what it sounded like, backstabbing crazy. I was just hurt because things that she had said. Um, what did she say? That weren't true. Oh, I should probably fall back to sleep. Okay, um, let, dude, let dude with the <laughs> shitty shirt talk here for a second. What? Uh, that shirt is a no-go, dude. It looks like, looks like ice cream. Sorry, I'm, I, was, I was changing a diaper. Oh, dad of the year. Uh, Brooks was really, really struggling with that one. Um, <clears throat> but, no, uh, just to address, you know, unfortunately some of this stuff that I think it's pretty telling. They all speak in riddles. Just come out and say the shit. It makes you sound worse when you're like, let me say the thing, I'm not gonna say the thing, but I'm gonna try to say the thing in a different way that I can't say the thing and the thing and the, just say the thing. That, you know, I don't, I don't even think the divorce is filed for yet. And I mean, there's videos. No, and she said they were separated. Already posted, what should single moms do? Um, I th They're throwing shade at Taylor and they should because Taylor's a douche. She's not even divorced yet, and she's talking about single momming because she's capitalizing on this event. And y'all are letting her. So just call her out. Conversation doll. Um, I think that... When you, you don't have to have the conversation. You guys are in a, in a swinging group of people. You don't have to step up the marriage to have fun. Can you have fun with, with consent? 
So of course you wouldn't. Important to know is the only reason we're even commenting is because a lot of that stuff was pretty directed at us. And it sucks because Taylor and Tate have been two of my best friends, two of Miranda's best friends. Stop, okay, stop dropping names. Guys. Well, Taylor was on the live. I'm Ta talking yeah, about Taylor. I know, that's what we're saying. We're talking about Taylor and Tate. Like, and here's the thing, too, is nobody's talking. I'm not talking crap. I'm just saying that I was hurt by something that Taylor had said. And that's all I'm saying. Like, I'm not going to sit here and, like, talk poorly about her and say she's a bad person. I wouldn't. You did. I've been friends. Little or words on that. with her for so long. I, you know, I told her, I'm like, look, I, I don't hate you. I never have. Like, I. Please keep all the receipts hidden, please. Yeah. I think that, you know, she, like I said, I think she has some amazing, amazing qualities. Like what? Give me one. And I wish her nothing but the best. Uh huh. I mean okay. That 100%. Yeah, no, you don't. And he's really good at his job. He's taught me a lot of good things. I always, you know. He let me sleep with his wife, you know. All good stuff. Cool. I just think they're both really good people. And I think. They're not. They have a great family. No. You know? Yeah. Our no. kids hang out with their kids. They're selfish bastards. And. So are you. Just the group involved, everyone, everyone's, I mean, it stuff's all over Reddit, which sucks. Like, I don't think, I think they should all have privacy uh, because. Excuse me. You don't get to be a freaking influencer making millions of dollars online with giving your privacy to the world, especially about your kids. I'm looking at their YouTube channel. They got their kids in there. Okay. You don't get to ch pick and choose what people want to talk about. When you put your life out there. Okay. That's it. You've chosen the path. You don't get to pick and choose. Oh, we want privacy on this. Sorry. <laughs> It's, nope, you are on the internet, the end. You don't get to pick and choose what people want to find out about you. It doesn't happen. You know, we still we still like them all. And I've had conversations with... All the dudes like each other, because they don't care about this drama shit. But that's not what's going on here. All the ladies are fighting. Literally every person... Except for the dude that cheated on Taylor. In, in that group, uh, except for one. I'll Good question. Why would you sleep with each other then if you like each other? Obviously, because of the accusations. Because they really like each other. You know what I'm saying? Um, of us and so phone calls and phone calls and people reaching out so. when Taylor dropped that live this whole friend group probably were like Defcon purple throw out all the evidence oh. um, I think they're just trying to be supportive but. Taylor did say too she's like everybody's gonna deny this and I have receipts just so you're aware they're all gonna come out and deny it well you know that Taylor has receipts and that she's the only one that stands to benefit from all this drama so why would you lie of everyone that they know and uh we are not swingers. We're not swingers. We never were swingers. We are not swingers. Remember she said that because if the if the receipts do drop that they are swingers, then shit, you're lying. Okay, the drama is crazy in the mom talk, so we're, we're kind of caught up. So I wanted to show you this two kind of videos because here, let's recap the whole thing. So Taylor and the mom talk group who have been gaining tons and tons of fame and money and stuff on him, you know, it all comes down to this thing is that the in behind the scenes of all this these perfect lives that they show you are just, it's this. It's all debauchery, drunkenness, sex, scandals, cheating. And at its core, they bring their kids into this whole world. I wouldn't even probably be talking about this if there were not kids involved in this entire world. And of all the mom talkers, they all have kids, everybody. They bring them into the videos. And look what's gonna happen now. When those kids get older, all this scandal, all the shit's always gonna be there. Those kids are gonna resent their parents, not only because their parents are self-centered and narcissistic assholes, because narcissists don't make good parents, okay? Selfish people don't make good parents. So not only are they gonna have to contend with that, that they're the shittiest, most self-centered, disgusting parents, they're gonna have to contend with, now this is all over the world, and all your friends are gonna see this shit. This is why I talk about this. This is, this, be, this is becoming a big thing. Kira, you're talking about ex-porn stars like Shannon Rose and all these people who have all these kids who have public disgustingness out in the world and they just don't think of anybody but themselves and their kids are the only ones that are going to suffer. That's it. At its core here, this is just beginning. There's going to be more receipts. There's going to be more lives. There's going to be more heartbreak. Probably going to be lawsuits is what's going to happen here. Okay? And the only person that's going to benefit and survive all this is going to be Taylor. Okay? But... Taylor might make all the money she being a thirst trap and all those things she wants to do. Maybe she'll get her own damn reality television show, okay? But in the end, Taylor's going to be a lonely old hag with nobody because Taylor is about Taylor. And so are these people. If you, if you make an agreement to sleep with each other's husbands and everything else and all that kind of stuff and each other's wives, I, I mean, that, again, people are like, oh, it's all good, it's all good, don't worry about it. But in the end, it's not natural. People know it's not, and that's why a lot of people have a problem with it. Right? It's just not normal. That's not normal. So anyway, all this weird shit, but she 
Again, she keeps making weird TikToks, like this one. Every time I open Reddit and search my name, again, she's capitalizing on this. She's like, she loves that every time she opens Reddit and searches her name, that she's the number one talked about drama thing in the world right now. She's been falling apart, and, and, she, and she doesn't even take her life seriously. Her, she has said, admittedly said her whole life has fallen apart, and what does she continue to do? Make shitty ass TikToks. That's it. Her whole life is dressed in almost nothing and making shitty TikToks because Taylor doesn't care about anything but Taylor. Not her kids, not her husband, not her marriage, nothing. All she cares about is herself. And that's why you should stop following these people and stop taking anything that they say to heart at all. Stop listening to them. Stop giving them your social media currency. 3.5 million followers? I'm pretty sure this is another, I don't know. And again, she's bringing her kids into all this stuff. She is a douchebag. Everybody involved in this is a giant Mormon douchebag. And don't forget at its core, too, that these people are Mormons. And they are capitalizing on Mormon culture to say, hey, look, we're Mormon. We have safe, ingestible Mormon content. Bring us your millions of followers. And they do. But then they show this. Whatever. Mormons are weird anyway. So none of them wear their garments. I hope that Taylor is called out for everything to do. If Miranda is lying, I hope everybody gets called out and all this stuff. I hope. And here's the reason I hope that all happens is because I hope a lot of them have this wake up call and they're like, oh my God, the internet has literally ruined my life. Being a social media influencer has ruined my life. I'm going to get off the internet now and go back to a private account and live a normal life where my kids can have a normal life. I hope that's, that's why I hope all their shit falls apart because at the, again, in the end, the only thing that's going to really happen, the only people are going to suffer are the children. That's it. That's, that's, that's why I hope all of them are like, F this world, I'm out. That's what I hope. Not the world, I mean, social media world. Everybody take a deep breath. Mm hmm Breathe it out. Unless Terry's around. <laughs> the dad tea is hot. Yes, I'm gonna cover some tea. I actually do enjoy it. But again, I hope it comes with that message and that caveat. Again, kids are at its core. And that's the only one that's gonna suffer. But you guys, beautiful, gorgeous, brilliant, and valuable. Don't you ever forget it. I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you tomorrow.